Hey guys, have you wondered what's the quickest mid-size truck? Well, today we're gonna to find out with Andre behind the camera because we've got the all new Nissan Frontier. We've got the Honda Ridgeline over here. A perennial favorite, the Jeep Gladiator. And of course, this very bright truck is the Toyota Tacoma. Roman, that's a forerunner. Oh, it is. I couldn't tell the difference, but trust me, we drove and tested the Tacoma, but that's just kind of a placeholder because, well, we can't get access to it right now. Under the hood of the Nissan Frontier, of course, it's a new V6. It's a 3.8 liter with class leading 310 horsepower and 281 pound feet of torque. It depends what fuel you got in it, Andre. Well, it doesn't matter. It has the most horsepower. It might be the quickest because of that. It has a nine speed automatic transmission. Let's do it. Hey, so Andre, we are in, uh, let's face it, the newest truck of the four, right? Yes. Yeah, so after, gosh, 15 years, wahoo, we've got a new Frontier. Yes. Um, of course, we're gonna be using, uh, as always, our Solo DL uh, to measure how quick this truck is from uh, zero to 60. Uh, let's do this one first. Uh, and then um, we'll save the ridge line for last. All right, here I go. Spot my tires a bit. And the result is 8.46. Let me try one more time, heading the other direction. goes so out of two runs 8.4 was my quickest and we're at about 1500 feet of elevation here above sea level all right Andre what was the time are you ready for this yeah I'm ready for it so I did it twice yeah. and it's 8.46 okay and I you know I tried different ways of doing it and uh, that was my best one. All right, well, there you go. Just under nine seconds. Yep. Winter is right around the corner. It's almost the end of riding season. And the last thing you want is to brave the cold without any hair on your head. Male pattern baldness affects an average of two out of three guys by the age 35. The best way to keep your hair is by treating it before you lose it. Rather than going to a doctor's office for hair loss products, Keeps lets you consult a licensed doctor online so you can figure out which hair loss plans best suits your needs. After that, your order is shipped directly to your front door. Keeps is an affordable solution to prevent hair loss and a single order lasts you three months. Hundreds of thousands of guys are using Keeps and their reviews say it all. If keeping a full head of hair this winter sounds like a good thing to you, visit keeps.com slash TFL truck or click the link in the description below for 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash TFL truck. Don't let yourself go bald. Stay warm with a full head of hair. All right, Andre, you've got 30 seconds. Give me your best review of the new Frontier in 30 seconds. And keep in mind, we've already driven this. This Pro 4X Nissan Frontier rides great. It has an updated suspension, same chassis for the most part, but brand new interior. And I think it's really a huge improvement over the previous one. All right, well, that was 12 seconds, so I've got a little bit more time. I would say this truck is the most modern of the bunch right now because it's the newest, but that's obvious. The thing I love about it is it's actually an honest truck. So it is what it is. It doesn't put on pretenses. It's good off-road. It's good on-road. Uh, it's comfortable. It actually has a usable back seat. Uh, it has a usable bed. Uh, and it's pretty badass looking. It kind of looks like the uh, Warrior concept from back in the day when Nissan did that for the full-size truck. You got a little bit more time, 20 seconds. Yes, and the V6 is actually very strong. It even spun my tires, so that's cool. All right, you guys have it. A 50 second review of the brand new Nissan. So let's go jump to the next one. Under the hood of the Tacoma is no longer the four liter. That's in the four under. It's a 3.5 liter V6, 278 horsepower, 267 Andre Two, of 265 dude I missed it by one and of course it has a six-speed automatic transmission and this hood is crazy heavy Andre it's a heavy hood man look at this look at that that's a proper old slam 
Andre, I am blinded by the color of this truck. What is it called? Electric lime? Oh my gosh. Oh my, you can see it from space. I think you can see it from space. And you know what? You can also get the Forerunner in the very same color. Well, I think it's Lime Rush. It's different shade of lime. You're joking, these are different? Yes. I'll Dif be darned. Different shades of lime. <laughs> All right. You know, uh, Carvey, who is a product rep here, yep. and we are, by the way, at the uh, Texas Truck Rodeo. They, they have product reps here, and yep. he said the most important thing yes. to get the maximum power is to hit the ECT button. ECT power. So we've got ECT power now, uh, and uh, this is by far the most popular truck in the segment. By far. Well, it outsells most other trucks. I mean, the sales numbers just came out recently for uh, third quarter. It sells like, it's on pace to like pass quarter million trucks in a year. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's certainly an out of the ballpark hit. All right, so uh, let's uh, cut to the chase and see how quick this bad boy is from zero to 60. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's see what the taco can do right here. Power! Go! Unbelievable, I don't believe it. It's identical. Actually, it's one one hundredth slower. 8.47 versus 8.46. <laughs> what was your time, Andre? Roman, you're not gonna believe it. What? 8.47. Okay. The Frontier was 8.46. Wow. So uh, the ECT button does do something. It gives you the identical time to a Frontier. Yeah, with less horsepower. Yeah. So maybe ECT is it. Yeah, there you go. All right, Andre, we've come to that part of the video where we do our one minute review. Less, yes. Less, there's actually less than one minute. So are you ready with your thoughts about the new... Well, it's not new. <laughs> the current... It's a 2022. <laughs> Tacoma, yeah. Are yeah. You, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. So the interior is the same. It's been this way for several years and my head is still touching the ceiling just a touch. But nonetheless, I love what Tacoma has done with their entire lineup and they have more choices than ever, including different colors like this one, uh, different suspensions, different wheels. Now you can get a trail Tacoma with a locker, uh, more affordable. This is probably the most expensive, but they're, they're King for a reason. And that's 30 seconds, so here's my part of the review. Uh, this truck is dated, the interior certainly looks dated. It also seems to be one of those trucks that you're going down the highway and because of the way the engine and the transmission works, uh, they're like a couple that's always fighting each other. So you look down, you think you're doing 65, but you're doing 55. So I don't think the transmission and the engine talk to each other very well. I also don't like the seating position. I feel like my feet are way out in front of me. But beyond that, it's a great truck because it's a lot of truck for what you're getting for. Obviously, reliability is what this truck is about. If you're gonna cross the world, the continent, or to Mars, Mr. Musk, listen, get yourself a Tacoma. How long was that? 105. Oh, geez. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Andre, what's under the hood of the Ridgeline? Let's check it out. Of course, it's a three and a half liter, actually transverse. 3.5 liter with 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque and it's made it to a nine-speed automatic so That's the same transmit. Well, same nine gears as the Nissan. Yeah, but this truck unlike the other three is all-wheel drive and also unibody I have all the right modes engaged. Let's go Ooh, Four-wheel drive. I mean all-wheel drive Oh, wow, did not expect this, 7.4, 7.4 is a great result, it's a second, a full second quicker. Dude, it was really awesome. 7.40, a second quicker. Yeah, a full second, dude. Yeah, yeah I believe that. Yeah, we got the rocket of the group. And I could feel it. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but I think all four wheels almost chirped a little. Yeah. And it just felt like this Ridgeline is a whole different vehicle. You know, it was more eager. And then the VTEC, you know, the valve train, you know, when it gets higher RPM, it just engaged. And the time was much quicker. All right, Andre, time for our one minute review. I'll go first this time, okay? Okay. Right, here we go. All right. The Ridgeline, people say, technically is not a truck because, well, it's 
basically a pilot with a bed. But I disagree. I think this is actually a really cool truck. And now that they've updated with the bigger exhaust, uh, the more off-road looking tires, uh, and the cool sticker package, I actually like this thing. I think if you're looking for a truck uh, that does everything that 90% of truck buyers need, but 90% won't buy, this is the one. And I think that this truck, first of all, has a lot more elbow room. Yeah. You and I are not touching elbows. Well, and it's actually roomy, comfortable inside. It's a little bit quiet. It has great ride because it has four wheel independent suspension. And also payload is huge on this one. This one right here is just over 1500 pounds of payload. The Tacoma and the Frontier were about 1000 pounds. So this from that standpoint is a much better utility truck. Good truck. And I did say it, truck. Under the hood of the Gladiator is a Pentastar 3.6 liter V6 that produces 285 horsepower, 260 pound-foot of torque, and it's paired to a eight-speed automatic transmission. Okay, I'm on all the right modes in the Jeep. I'm gonna go for it. Go Pentastar! There she goes. Oh, that is amazing. You could not write this. 8.51. What was your time, Andre? Come on, jump in. Yeah. Show me. Dude, you're not gonna believe this. Yeah, I figured as much. The most off roady one is it also the slowest one. But, but, but that's so close. You know, 8.4, 8.5, it could be just, you know, like a gnat hit the windshield. <laughs> and slowed it down a little bit, right? Yes. Or maybe the manufacturers actually go and they benchmark them. Well, probably, most likely. And they're similar, you know, off, you know, frame-based big trucks with V6 engines. Well, actually, mid-sized trucks. Yeah. But they're about the same size and weight. All right, Andre, are you ready for the one-minute review? Heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna start this off again, and I'll do 30 seconds, and you do 30 seconds. So here we go, three, two, one, start. You know, Jeep hates this, but it's absolutely true. They don't like the fact that you call it a Wrangler with a bed, but it is. It's exactly a Wrangler with a bed. But if you forget all that, it's also, I think, the most off-road worthy truck here. I know you Toyota people are gonna disagree, but does uh, the Tacoma have a front locker? No. No, oh, there you go. What else do I need to say? Uh, it's also, I think, has the best interior. Highest quality, kind of most stylized. Uh, it's just, you know, very nice it's also very expensive all right go for it and my take is it's a very cool pickup truck for two main reasons first of all four-wheel drive system like you said but also it's topless doors off you can uh, you know it's a haul experience it's a little bit louder in the cabin but I don't care uh, because my tires are beefy and mud ready and my top can come off at any time yeah it's also the most customizable uh, the most uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> and I think the coolest of the bunch. And the most expensive. Yeah, it's kind of like the way, you know, a nice pair of shoes should be and is. Hey, Andre, our fine folks may be wondering, where's the Ranger? Where's the Colorado? Where are they, Roman? Uh, Ford and Chevy decided not to participate, as did Rivian, which I think would have won this competition. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We now know which of these four, well, not the, not the forerunner, the Tacoma is the fastest truck. And surprisingly, it's the one that you guys think is not a truck. As always, thanks for watching. Remember, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, Andre's 0-60 to midsize truck reviews. Ciao!